Go-Go is music. DC's music. Generations of Go-Go is a groundbreaking and revealing documentary on Go-Go music and its culture. Go-Go is to DC what reggae music would be to Jamaica. You can be at the gas station and hear that go-go beat. You can be at the bus stop and hear that go-go beat. You can be anywhere in the city and you're gonna hear that, that music. 1976, the genre go-go was born. Chuck Brown, the legend, was the creator of go-go music and is widely known as the godfather to go-go music. It was created by all of the groups and bands that were involved, but Chuck had a style that became a dominant style and everybody would copy. His early shows in the 70s marked the beginning of go-go music. At a part of the song, he would take a break and it would be like a rhythm break. And, and he would do that song and he would talk to the crowd. I think the first time I heard Go-Go was on the radio, maybe um, Chuck Brown, maybe like Bustin' Loose. In 1979, Chuck Brown released a record, Bustin' Loose, which officially introduced Go-Go into mainstream music. Go-Go is best experienced at a live show. Hey, don't stop. You better make The first time I seen a live band, I was like, wow. When they hear it live and they, they see it live, they, it's just a whole different story. It's dance-oriented music, and it's live dance music. Go-Go artists interact with their audience to keep them hype. From the front to the back. The whole call and response thing, I mean, how do you put a talker on a record? That's a lot of what makes Go-Go um, what it is. And this is just a DMV thing, so if you get shouted out in these songs, then you're gonna be known. Southwest of the house. What's up, Shorty Black? It's only in Go-Go music that the conga player is as popular as the band. It's the beat, and you know, created by congas. Kind of slow. Go Go is DC's heartbeat, its culture, its sound, fashion, and politics. Generations of Go Go seek to explore the evolution of Go Go and youth identities. Why do so many Washingtonians continue to support the genre? It's my hometown, this is our music, they're talking about places that I know about, and so I really had a certain amount of pride in it. The Generations of Go-Go has been defined by several bands. In the 80s, it was Trouble Funk, Red Essence, EU, Lil Benny and the Masters, Junkyard, and Pleasure. During the 90s, it was Backyard, Hucker Bucks, and the Northeast Groovers. As with all genres of music, there's an evolution. Each generation putting their unique stamp on their sound and a new trend, Bounce Beat. I mean, it's the pocket beat right here. And it's the Bounce Beat. And Bounce Beat is like, it's more raw. More stripped down and more, like, rugged. Bands like TCB, CCB, XIB, Reaction, have ushered in a new sound of go-go. It hasn't always been portrayed as positive music in the media. The 99 times that there wasn't any problem, that's not news. That's not what the definition of news is, so that's not gonna make it in there. And so you have a very skewed, view of what it actually is. There's not too many places that can have Go-Go in the district. They feel that Go-Go may, may, may draw violence. The naysayers equate Go-Go music 
to explicit activities and violence. Violence happens everywhere. You know, it's not like here in the backyard is making people shoot somebody. It's just that the person you happen to want to shoot was at a backyard show. Unfortunately, yeah, the genre has caught a bad rap. Do what we have to do as a society to stop violence, and that's when violence will stop in Go Go's. We run this town. We run this city. Where is Go Go's place on the national and international music scene? I would like to see it go as big as it can. I don't think it's ever going to leave. It's too many bands for it to be gone from the district. Go-Go go has been a part of every genre of black music. But I wanted to be appreciation to all like genre spots, pop, rock and roll, jazz, and rap. As Washingtonians, we take this music and say, you know, this is something valid, this is a contribution. We know it in ourselves, but there's nothing wrong with sharing that with the rest of the world. It's a music with a culture around it, and live performance every week, numbers of bands playing. That's not happening in the rest of the country like that. Go Go is a part of DC, and it, I think it will always be around for generations because it's just Go Go. Go Go is Go Go. Many of the groups continue to play and capture a whole new generation of Go Go fans. It's getting hot up in here. It's getting hot up in here. The time dirty club. It's getting hot up in here. Now it's time to capture and preserve these stories of his vibrant culture known as Go-Go. To my shoes, I see the sun on the rose. A kitty, why don't play? I'm gonna roll every day. I see rocks are uptown.